started though hi everyone welcome to another mini soda of geeky gentlemen um we're trying to get back into these they're, they're kind of hard to find a time slot to do in since i used to post them on wednesdays but now i do comic reviews on wednesdays by the way watch my comic reviews um <laughs> they have been quite good i've enjoyed them rather uh greatly oh well thank you um so anyway Today, Milan and I are going to talk about something that's been kind of like rattling around in my head for a while, and I just, I, I felt like I wanted to get it out there, and I know I've heard him talk about something kind of similar to in the past, so I, I wanted to get it out there, um, and I just explained it to him, but we'll explain it to you, the listener. Um, so you, you have those, like, people who are a fan of things, and they they seem like they're kind of ashamed of being a fan of that, like a certain thing, because they just won't say that they like it. They'll try to try to make it sound more intellectual or try to try to justify it in some way, shape, or form, and that just really annoys me. So, like, you'll hear people instead of saying that they read comic books, it's like, no, no, I read graphic fiction. And so, I just wanted to kind of talk about this, and I'm gonna try not to make it just a giant rant video, but it's probably gonna turn into a giant rant video. Cool. <laughs> I love your reaction. So, so uh, Milan, wh- why don't you go ahead and get us started and like your feelings on on this uh, this type of behavior? I guess I don't know. Uh, f- this really uh, originates from uh, hipsters, I think. I don't know. Mm. Geeks. Uh, I don't. Know, it's a weird thing that's slowly changing. Uh, see, geeks were always the weirdos that liked their shit, regardless of ar- irony. Hipsters uh, are the p- kind of people who pretend to like something because it's ironic, but I don't believe that. I believe that that hipsters are just people who like weird, off-the-wall, odd shit, and they just like, they want to like, oh yeah, it's ironic. It's not fucking ironic. You like, you just like goofy shit. Admit it. And like, <laughs> like you just like to see, you just like to grow out a beard and a mustache. Like, I personally think Funko fucking hem- handlebar mustaches uh, and those weird 19, uh, 1880s oil baron mustaches are cool on dudes. I like men with beards. I do. Mm-hmm. I find men with beards rather attractive. Uh, but it's 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 just I don't know. There's there's this being this this weird thing. I guess it's just when people get a little bit too old for their fandoms. For example, when you're like in your 25 or something, and like. Oh, the old age of twenty-five, and like you're, you're still like I know a couple of people like this who they still watch like I don't know. It's weird. Well, like yeah, I, I kind of get what you're saying because I mean I'm twenty-four years old, and last year I watched the Lego Movie, and it reignited my love for Legos that I've had since I was a kid. And, you know, I've been doing Lego videos lately, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, and, you know, I've just, I've got a bunch of Legos piled on the floor. I'm a 24-year-old man. I play with Legos, and I'm not ashamed of that. Um, yeah, but like, it's, it, that's it's the difference. It's a thing to do. That's the difference. Um, I mean, people, everyone has, the, like, Doug Stanhope brings this up great. Everyone has their own weird shit. Like, just because if, like, people like to gather around and watch a bunch of people throw a ball around and pretend it means something. I like to read stories about fucking rich people who dress up as bats beating up on the homeless uh, and the insane. You know, people have their weird shit. And just because something is weird and goofy and some people will look at you like, what the f- you're fucking 22? I'm 22. And they used to fucking read comic books? That's fucking gay, dude. 
I'm like, well, fuck, I just, like, depending on the guy, I give him some stuff to read. Like, it's, I don't like it because of, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a fucking dork. And that's the thing. Yeah, yeah I'm a, like, like, I like comic books. I want to get into the industry. I like storytelling. And any of those people, like, I guarantee you, every single person who fucking, oh, the comic books are gay. I just hand them off a comic, the kind of comic they would like to read, and, like, they get into it. That, that, they, that's why I make my motion comics. Just, like, check it out. That's pretty fucking dark and awesome and well written. Yeah, that's comic yeah. books. And that's the thing. It's people who who try to justify like these there used to be they, the, they try to like intellectualize it away and like not that you can't make things that you're into intellectual, that's a different thing entirely, but to try to like, you know, make it something it's not is yeah. is like, you know, we don't need another word for comic books. Yeah. They're comic books. It's... Graphic novels are not a thing. They're really long comic books. Yeah. Um... And the comic books, like, it's fucking... Uh, this is why I don't, get, I don't get about you fucking Americans. See, everyone else in Europe and, like, Asia, they, they fucking... That's an American invention. Comic books are a, a purely American format. And the rest of the world thinks it's fucking great. I mean, that's the only reason we haven't, you know nuked you off the face of the earth to be honest oh well it's no um, yeah, yeah, the, you're, hang, you're hanging on by a Fred America so many times Stalin was sitting there like should I declare war on America no no they got comic books that's pretty fucking awesome yeah exactly um, <laughs> like, like I, even, I bet even Hitler's like, like if you just if, if Nazi Germany had comic books uh, like good ones and they're just like you know these are pretty fun Oh, they're made by Jews. I guess Jew. We'll focus our attentions more on the gypsies and the queers than the Jews. Leave the Jews alone. <laughs> you know, comic books. Comic books could have stopped the Holocaust. I don't know if I'd go that far, but yeah, well, yeah. I get. I get what you're saying. It's it's one of those things where it's just like it's such a cool art form, and I don't understand why people are ashamed of it. It's it's so weird because lately. Over the last, I don't know, you want to say decade and a half, maybe, um, um, geek culture has really exploded, right? Yeah. It's like, you know, th what are the highest grossing movies of all time? Superhero and sci-fi films. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, it's Titanic weird. Is the only one, Titanic is now the oddball in that list of highest grossing movies hmm. ever. Yeah. Um, and it's and weird. So, like, it's, it's, it's so weird that geek culture has gone mainstream but people still feel ashamed of their geekdom, and that I that think pisses me off. It's not the it's not the shame of the geekdom. I think it's just there are different types of geeks. There's the kind of cool, edgy, punky Grant Morrison comic book girl nineteen type of geeks. You know, the people who read a lot of Grant Morrison, the kind of weird artsy fartsy fucking you know cool hip kids uh, uh, who do a lot of drugs like me. Um, uh, and is like the more you kind of fall into a certain negative stereotype, the more antsy you get to kind of like, oh, you're a fat fucking middle aged dude with a beard and pimples on your face. You must like comic books. Well, I do. There you go. And it's I guess it's a different kind of people. If you fall in, like like fucking everyone likes comic books. My fucking like my grandma likes comic. Well, not when my grandma's an alcoholic, so no. I don't know like. Like, everyone I fucking know, like, reads comics. It's it's the same. It's not about that. I, I think comic books are pretty safe because, like, I'm not ashamed because I could just... Like, I don't know. I, I don't... Yeah, but it's, like, if we move it away from comic books, we talk about Legos. Like, you know, oh, you play with Legos. I'm like, well, fuck you. Legos no, are cool. I and they're, I like, I can show you. I think I, I understand show you, what you're like, saying. I think I understand well, what no, you're saying. Well, no, hold on, hold on. I can show you, like, a 3,000-piece Lego set that costs a couple thousand dollars... That's not meant for a damn kid. Well, that's... you know, there are things out there that are meant to like, you know, because it's a collector thing or it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, and, but that's the thing. It's like you should I I recommend to people if like if you're just bored around the house and you don't have anything going on, try just building some shit out of Legos. It's actually fun and intellectually stimulating in a way. Well, the, because I, you've got to think spatially, which is not something people do very often. Yeah, I understand that, but that, that's the weird thing. Some people have a criticism to that, like all these fucking aging people who've gotten to geekdom have kind of stealing away the stuff that was meant for children from kids. I don't know, I don't really understand that because 
I don't know. It's weird. I, mean, I guess I could see where that might come yeah, from, but as I mean, long as a you're lot not of... actively like, as long as you're not swatting Legos away from kids and saying, "No, those aren't for you." Yeah, uh, that's the whole like, point of the Lego, the Lego movie. Like, don't be a weird old man with a basement full of toys. Yeah, I mean, like the <laughs> obviously it's, it's everything in moderation. Like the Lego movie kind of commented on that. I mean, the guy's like, "Oh, well, no," or well, Will Ferrell's character was like, "No, it's an adult thing because I said it." Um, you know, there's a difference between, like, not letting the kid touch a model that's, like, gonna fall apart if, like, you put one finger on it, and not letting the kid play with Legos at all. Yeah. There's a distinction in there, and it's like, you know, it's about making the thing you like, it, you know, it's about admitting that I like Legos because, you know, I played with them as a kid, and I think they're, uh, still really cool and really fun to play with now and stuff. And it's just something else to do. What am I? What else am I going to do? Fucking watch TV all day? Um, it's I, just I, I think you're I getting work. a little bit defensive. I mean, that's a well, thing. no, no, no. I'm just I'm trying to like I'm trying to display where my line of thinking is, and I can enjoy this, and I don't have to be ashamed of it. Um, and that's that's what bothers me. It's just this like that like there's this group of guys they call themselves adult fans of Lego. I'm like. Do you really need that distinction? Can't you just be a fan of Lego? Why does it have to be an adult thing? Why can't you just enjoy what you do and admit, yeah, it's kind of a kid thing, but I like it too? I don't why, know. Why is there this shame of things? I guess it depends on the fandom in itself. I mean, you had those, uh, what were they called? The the, the guys who liked the horses? The, the kitty uh, shit? That's the one, yeah. Um, like, I, I know people who are, you know, that bronies and it's whatever like it's not that it's just like i understand where the weirdness of that comes from like I, I, when you meet people who are just like oh man it's a good show you gotta love that show like that guy we had on a couple of episodes back like a year or two ago and he was like ed i think his name was and it's just like like he was so ups like i watched the show a little bit with my little sister yeah like she'd I come over to her and she's like milan let's watch the fucking pony show i'm like sure and it was all right, but then Ed was all like, "Oh man, he got to, he started like talking and talking it up." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, it's a huge show with kids." And my little sister and I enjoyed it, I guess. But like, they kind of go overboard, and it become it becomes kind of weird when a person like starts to go this out about something that's obviously meant for kids, and they're like, "No, it's actually for adults as well." I'm like, "Sure, but." <sighs> Calm the fuck yeah, down. Just that, that point about where you're like, okay, listen, yeah. comic books can be really smart, and really intellectual. Legos can be really, you know, a, a challenge to to work on, something to do that's like akin to modeling. But at the same time, it is something that was originally intended for children, and, it, and you shouldn't yeah. try to like take that away from it. Like, and I'm not, I'm, um, not, I'm not bad mouthing the uh, the bronies or whatever. Uh, I don't really give a shit, but it's just like I understand where that kind of like, we and I, I, that's where you can defend something that, like, yeah, you, sh you if you're old, like if you're like fucking, if you're an old man and you're defending like watching a kiddie show about ponies, yeah, that that's that sounds weird to a rational adult person. That's like, yeah, you're kind of fucking strange, but I don't know, I don't really care. I'm in my, I'm 22. I, I don't give a fuck. I haven't turned into a square yet. Age will do that eventually. Eventually, yeah. with age, you'll see everyone that is not like you as a weirdo. You know, when you're... Yeah, well, like, it's, yeah. it's one of those things where um, you can get away with things. Like, I, I feel like it's not a problem until you're strange because of that. Yeah, You know, it's like, yeah. it's like one of those things where if your life is completely dedicated to having just your entire house full of Legos all over the place where it's not going to move, or you you walk into your house and you can't move around all the long boxes filled with comic books, then, I mean, maybe that's a problem, unless yeah. you're planning to get a bigger house or planning to get a storage area for that. Or a it's like, Well, I have both, so there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where it's not a problem until it's actively intruding on things. Like, you know, you mentioned that some people like to watch a ball be thrown around. I'm like, yeah. It's one of those things where, is it a problem for someone to watch sports? No. Is it a problem for someone to spend all their income on sports and gambling on sports? Yes. Um, like, if you're if you're late for work because you were sitting there reading comic books uh, in your house all day, or if you were, if you, like, missed a wedding because you had to get to a store to buy a Lego set, then that's a problem. 
But if it's not actively intruding on your life, then it's okay as long as you, you know, keep it within some level of moderation, right? Yeah, don't be a and, fucking and I feel like people. Yeah, yeah. I feel like people just don't get that. I'm like, you can not be ashamed of this thing that you like and still actively participate in society. You know, there's, yeah. there's, it, it doesn't have to be one or the other. And you don't have to try to justify your the thing you like. You just like it. Just let that be enough. Yeah. Um, I, like, I, I work with this motherfucker, and he just pisses me off and makes me roll my eyes. So he's a big fan of anime. Oh. And when people don't know what that is, you have to explain what anime is to him, right? And so he goes, oh, it's a form of animation uh, really popular in Japan and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And so the normal reaction of any human being is going to be, oh, so it's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. It's like, no, it's not really a cartoon. It's more complex than that. No, it's fuck you. Anime is a cartoon. Okay, deal with it. That's it. It's it's a fucking cartoon. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You know, just say like, ah, but like, I don't know. Don't start a conversation with that. Like, hey, ladies, mm, I watch anime. Like, <laughs> you're, you're never going to get any puss like that. I mean, it's just like, at a certain point, you're just like, I like goofy shit. I guess it only de- all depends if you have a job or not. Like, if you have a steady sense of income and you have other things to talk about besides the things that you're into, uh, it can yeah, be... Like, th- th- that's the thing. Yeah. Anything other than your one interest that's kind of kooky, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. like I say, a problem. Yeah, definitely. And it's just like, I think it's healthy when, like, like, hey, he's fucking reading comic books in his fucking early 20s. Or watching this or that. And it's just like, as long as you're like, yeah, it's just kind of a weird thing that I do on my off time. It's a hobby and I enjoy doing it for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, people who let that shit consume their lives, they have to justify it to themselves and to the the people surrounding them that the stuff that's slowly parasitically taking over their social life, essentially... Uh, you know, it's, it's like, well, no, it's not a problem, man. It's not a problem. It's a, it's an actual thing, and it doesn't matter if the thing in itself happens to be, you know, like, yeah, sure, whatever. Fucking Evan, I watched Evangelion once, that fucking giant robot thing, and it was fucking awesome. And but I stopped. Watching, like, my little brother likes anime. I'm like, sure, he's 18 years old. Like, I'm, I'm a, you know, whatever. And like, yeah, we're a bunch of fucking geeks, but like, that's mm-hmm. not the thing that defines us. It's just a yeah. weird little fucking thing that we do. You know, yeah, he likes the stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you gravitate towards stuff that has your interest in it already. Yeah, I think, I think that's an important distinction is, like, the the reason I like comic books is because I think I find a lot of really interesting philosophical ideas in comic books being played out in, in this mythological way, just like when you go back to old mythology and you can read that same thing. Yeah, but I find a lot of modern myth, uh, philosophy in, in the modern myth that is comic books. And I find a uh, genuine interest in, um, you know, I don't want to call it sculpture, but in building and, and geometry and stuff in Legos. Yeah, I you, find you, that stuff interesting, but it doesn't modeling. change the... Yeah, yeah. You also but do it doesn't modeling. change... Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it doesn't change the fact that, yeah, it's it's funny books and building toys. Yeah. And I'm not going to feel ashamed about liking that. And, like, you know, if someone says... Oh, you watch cartoons? Well, no, it's anime. No, you watch cartoons. Anime is a subset of cartoons. Just deal with that. Don't try to, like, yeah. justify it away or anything. Because cause by, tr- by attempting to make it sound more mature, it actually becomes less mature. Right? Mm. Yeah. Like, I mean, when you, yeah. when you think about that, it's like when, when someone tries to tries to justify whatever they're into, it's suddenly not as... It, it suddenly becomes apparent that you're actually ashamed of it. You're not yeah. actually embracing what you're into. Yeah, yeah. Like, and that's, a, that's wrong. You that's, shouldn't have to feel ashamed of the thing you like. Yeah, that's the difference between an adult and a, a, a person who hasn't fully matured yet. An adult is like, yeah, I don't give a shit. I, I make my own fucking income. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... Like fuck, I like to fucking do this and that, whatever. And like, like, are you do this and that? It's stupid. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about you. Like, good. Like, <laughs> you you try to get them into it, just like, hey, you want to? You think I'm fucking stupid? Check it out. No, it's gay. Okay then, whatever. Fuck you. I don't. I don't, I don't need to hang out with you. Then. 
<laughs> um, you're gonna be a shithead about. I'm hanging out with you, like. No, no, I mean, like, but if, if someone's going to be a shithead yeah. about someone, it's like, yeah, fuck it, I don't need to talk to you about it then. And that's yeah. the other thing is, like, this motherfucker at work that I'm talking about, it's just like, he doesn't let it go. Yeah. He just, everyone has to like this thing and, and recognize how brilliant it is. And, like, if I try to get someone to read a comic book and they, and let's say they do, and they don't like it, I'm like, okay, well, I guess you just don't see what I see in it. That's fine. It's whatever. But if, like, I... I'm not going to show up to work every day with a stack of comic books and demand that someone read them. Yeah. That's, that's... fucking nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Say, uh, Ian, are, are you autistic? No. <laughs> but you like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. <laughs> apparently that's a thing on the internet now. If, uh, if fucking... A bunch of, a bunch, apparently, uh, autistic people really like Sonic the like a really really like Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm like, huh, okay, that's weird. it's weird. Uh, like, it, like I that's I, a strange factoid. I know. Uh, I fucking I just recently learned that. And I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> I, I I've never heard of this before. I'll take your word for it. I though. guess that's why. Uh, that, yeah, it's it's the weirdest thing, and it's like the internet is just full of weird fucking shit. Just, just like Jesus, God. And I, I think that's the thing, though, is like, I, I actually, it's, it's interesting you bring that up because I think the internet is kind of what has made this all come to light. Yeah. Is is the internet is made up of what, what people put on it. Yeah. And so anything you find on the internet, no matter how strange it is, that's something a person came up with and put out there. And so that's something that a person felt the need to take their time to create for you to see. And so when you look at shit like that, it's like, yeah, when you think about it, it's got to be kind of normal because everyone's into it in some way sh or someone's into it in some way, shape or form. Well, and well, you they could probably be just as normal as I think I am. Well, apparently killing in, in using that logic, killing Jews is perfectly normal, too. Well, don't take my point too far now. Um, <laughs> uh, I, you know, it's no, but you, but you see where I'm going with it. I mean, yeah. it, it's a person that came up with it, so it's not like it's it's really not that far out there when you think about it. It's not like it's some alien thing that that came from another world. It's like, yeah, it's, people are into this. Okay, whatever. Maybe they're a normal dude. Who knows? Yeah, um, yeah. Like that's the weirdest thing. The it's funny when you find out like the most average of people are into the weirdest of shit. The more average they are, the more fucked up their fucking personal lives are. That's what. Well, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, sometimes like, they're like, perfectly. Have you ever born. heard of LARPing? Have you ever heard of LARPing? Yeah, like I was like I, me and my family after church uh, went to this park, uh, mm -hmm. and there was this, this, like a bunch of fucking Russian vite like Russian armored clad viking looking motherfuckers <laughs> and your mom is like oh no the end time no she's um, like oh my goodness those boys are dressing up in traditional uh, russian nightwear russian you know medieval sword soldier clothes like actual swords and recreation and stuff and i like like we went over it's like oh are you actually are you russian guys like no we're actually australians we just like to dress up in the in old uh, fucking medieval armor and recreate battles and shit and like that's really cool. It is. It's fucking awesome when you get out there. But like, if you if you kind of hear about it, you're like, oh, that sounds like people have that reaction. It's like, oh, that sounds dumb. But like, you know, it's a fucking exhilarating physical thing where you get to go out on a field and hit people with swords. That's awesome. Well, that, there's a difference. Um, there's like the actual battle recreation with actual metal swords and the stuff that special kids do with, like, uh, foam swords and... No, 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 like, dude, you should fucking try it with, like, the foam swords and shit. That's, that's legit fun, not gonna lie. Uh... That is, like, I've done it, I've done it before. That shit's fucking fun. Uh, um, I was at this party once, and, uh, me and this, uh, like, we were so fucking pissed, but this girl had these giant-ass fucking hard foam recreations of the, uh, some kind of, um, like, King Game of Thrones swords are really fucking hard and sharp. And I was dressed in my fucking trench coat and, like, green trench coat, looking like the fucking Highlander. And, like, just the other guy was dressed all in leather. This fucking mm -hmm. bikey looking guy. And basically, both of us just fucking pissed off our asses on fucking vodka and rum. 
fucking just, um, I'm just standing there with one sword in my hand and a fucking beer in the other, and we're just fucking fencing like a bunch of, like a bunch of drunk cunts. That's fucking a fun as shit, though. It I was. Mean, like, I got my ass kicked. I was drunk as fuck. You just fucking... Yeah, I mean, but it's like, you don't even need to be drunk to do shit like no. that. Like, that's something that's actively fun. And when, you, when you hear about it, you're like, oh, a bunch of people are going to sword fight? How old are those fuckers? But, like, when you do it, it's like, holy shit, this is fucking awesome. Um, and, and that's the thing. is like, you just have to, you know, obviously take everything with a grain of salt, but you just be willing to at least hear someone out or, or at least... Not, if not try it, just be willing to at least accept and understand it without having to prejudge someone. Um, it's just one of those things like, yeah, you shouldn't be ashamed of it, and at the same time, people shouldn't judge you for it immediately after finding it out. I'm not going to lie, that does happen, and so there's there might be some justification for the, the whole need to intellectualize things, but at the same time, it's like, you know, just, just fucking do your thing, and if someone doesn't get it, they don't get it. Fuck it, whatever. Mm. Um... Like you shouldn't you shouldn't act in a way that that worries about how people are gonna see you. Mm. you no, know? if you well, like a little it, bit, like... a little bit, a little bit. No, no, I don't think so. You shouldn't have to worry what people are gonna think. If you like it, like as long as you're not being intrusive. Is the oh, de- yeah, definitely. Don't be intrusive. Don't be a dick about it. Yeah, yeah. If if they don't seem interested, then just like okay, fuck it, whatever. Drop it. If you know, you're th- trying to yeah, yeah. If you're trying to enforce it, that's a different thing. But yeah. if you're just like yeah, I like to do a thing, you're like oh, okay, that's weird. Yeah, it's it sounds a little strange, but you should try it sometimes. It's actually kind of fun. Mm. Like go out on a field and hit people with fucking foam swords and tell me that's not awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're fucking adorable. You know that. Hey man, I did it. I did that shit when I was in like middle school. When I was, I like, I still felt too old for it. But I gotta admit, like, that was some fun shit to do. Mm, you, um, had, you had an afro back then, didn't you? Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not, because I started growing it in middle school, so it's hard for me to remember. But yeah, that's some fun shit to do. It's yeah. like, it's it's like sports, but without the rules. Um, yeah. <laughs> and just so like we can have some SJW insurance. Uh, I like the cock on occasion, and Ian is biracial. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, we have to do that. It, people are going to go, you hate the Jews. I love the Jews. My auntie's half a Jew. You know? Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's just, this some something that, like, is just, I said, it's just been crawling around the back of my head, and, like, I wanted to get it out there, and it it's kind of ranty, but I don't know. I think there's some... Some legitimate stuff to say here, and I think where we ultimately come down on, on it is don't be ashamed, but also don't be a dick. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like most things in life, don't be a dick. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, I, I don't know what else there really is to say, Mon. Do you have any other thoughts you'd like to share with the world? Um, have you watched the Batman Superman trailer? No, you know I don't watch trailers, jackass. All um, right, but but I just want to fucking say, put this. I don't. This has nothing to do with anything, but essentially, it's this. It has something to do with it. Essentially, you know who movie? No, no, no. Fuck you. Shut your goddamn face. Make it's, a video about it on your own it's channel. Not about the tra- you, it's you, not about the trailer. You, you, it's not about you. the trailer. It's about the trailer. It's about. It's not about the trailer. It's. I'm not going to give you any details. It's just about this guy called Movie Bob. Oh, okay. And it's kind of, he's kind of, it's the downfall of Movie Bob. It's kind of in the zeitgeist still. But essentially, he's one of these dudes. He's one of these people who's just like, he's, I, I liked him. I still kind of like him. He seems like a cool guy, but he's just kind of become a little bit obnoxious. He's in his mid 30s now, I think. And is mm-hmm. the, this fat guy with a fucking goatee who's very, very, very progressive to a scary degree. And it's just like, he, this is what he has to say about the fucking Batman Superman trailer. He's angry that it seems like it's like, like here. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 okay, uh, as I've said before, da, 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 it's trying to appeal to the frat rat set. There are muscle milk, milk, muscle milk chugging, collar popping, ball cap reverse Ed Hardy style, nickel back blasting, sick abs slashing, axe body spray smiling, bro, uh, fucking people. This he, he's angry because this movie seems to be appealing. He, he thinks that this movie's so dark and edgy. And it's appealing to those people, and he's angry about that. He's angry that a superhero movie is d- fucking dark, and that it's like, oh my god, it's it's trying to. He, 
it's one of these people who's so who's a geek through you know through and through, but who's just so ridiculously vengefully angry at this perceived jock stereotype that he thinks still exists in the world that like like anything that happens to divulge from his very like eighties are awesome world view. He's just like, nah, man, like, you know, if it's fucking slightly dark or slightly, like, fucking not what I want, it's for the fucking, those mean jocks who picked on me when I was a kid. And it's just like, people like that who say, like, oh my god, like, you're, people are starting getting angry because fucking jocks are getting involved in geek culture. And I'm like, I was a fucking, like, I'm friends with jocks or geeks. Fucking. Yeah, I'm like the- yeah, this thing is fuck? geek culture does not mean um just because you're geek a geek it doesn't mean does you're a fucking retard. You have to be like a you know a, a sweaty collared uh like a, a bookworm kind of kid. I mean yeah. there are plenty of dumb motherfuckers who will love comic books. Yeah. Um I mean it's not even dumb motherfuckers just because I know I'm just being I'm being facetious there. Yeah, it's like you no know, yeah, I'm fucking you should be ashamed of being smart. You shouldn't be ashamed of being good at sports yeah. and not that good at like book learning. Yeah. Um no, no the thing is it's like, I have fucking friends who I knew, like, from camp mostly. They're Russian, so they grow up fast. Like, I used to bring comics to my Russian Orthodox summer camp for the kids to undermine the influence of the priests with comics, uh, because I'm evil like that. And, um, and like, I, there were kids there. Like, I used to be the council, camp counselor there. they grew all grown up now. They're all, you know, 18 years old and whatever. And there was this little kid who loved the comics I'd bring over. Like, yeah, I love the comics. Do you have any new ones? And he's this chubby little fucking Russian kid. Now he's 18 years old. He fucking camp, 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 ah. He does bodybuilding as a competition, you know? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This huge fucking ridiculously ripped fucking 18 year old Russian dude who fucking still loves comic books. Yeah. Yeah, like he's. He, like, it's, yeah. it's not. It doesn't have to be exclusive a, to you. It's like, a me I mean, look at the motherfuckers in comic books. Yeah. They don't. Uh, they do not line up with what your what with what that old view of a comic book reader was. Yeah, Greg Capullo is like, a fucking bodybuilder slash fucking rock star. Grant Morrison yeah, I mean, is a is a new agey drug lord. Uh, Todd McFarlane wanted to play baseball. Yeah. Uh, fucking Dwayne McDuffie. Look, this is the awesome thing about Dwayne McDuffie. He was he ha- he had the like IQ and the like he was all ready to become an astronaut. Like, he was perfectly... Clo- no, like, seriously, he was perfectly qualified to be an astronaut. But the thing is, he grew too tall and too big to... He, he, he overset the height requirement. So he went... Oh, he's too tall to be an astronaut, so he did comics instead. That's funny. That's um, awesome. That's a... I'm so sad he's fucking dead, man. I've been reading... Yeah. He's a... Mild, well, like, yeah. Okay. Here, let's just... Let's just wrap up. And I think... I think this is actually a good place to do it. You know, ultimately, don't put people in a box... And don't put yourself in a box. Yeah. You know, don't don't look at people and go, oh, well, they're like this, so obviously they have to like this thing and this thing. Or, oh, they like this thing and this thing, so obviously there's some kind of weird creeper. I'm like, no. Don't put people in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to be perceived as this, you know, creeper guy, so I've got to intellectualize this thing I love. It's like, no. You, you love a thing. Maybe it's got some intellectual elements, but it's still got its own name. Don't try to call comic books graphic fiction. They're not. They're comic books. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Um, if you can't accept that, then you shouldn't be reading them anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't be ashamed of your goofy shit. Yeah, exactly. Just just like a thing and don't be a dick. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. This is a lot of fun. Um, later this week, we will be doing Tales from the Crypt Season 1 still. Uh, sorry that video's been behind, and that's why I wanted to get this one out, so that you guys could enjoy it um, before that. In any case, uh, until next time, I'm the Philosopher. I'm the Madman. And we are your geeky gentlemen, and we will be discussing things. <laughs>